Family, friends and members of parliament gathered in large numbers to pay their last respect to the late Yanangolo. The day kicked off with mourners gathering for a morning devotion at the residence of the late Yanangolo and later proceeded to the old location cemetery where he was buried. In a message of condolence, President Hagi Gengob says, Namibia has lost a good man that knew a lot about the country's history and also a seasonal journalist who played a major role in keeping Namibians updated during exile. Fellow mourners, we are burying the remains of Comrade Umbula Yanangolo. On the 4th of May, the day on which we commemorate Kasinga Day. The atrocities committed against our people on this day feature prominently in Comrade Mvula's documentary entitled Kasinga, a story untold. But Ambassador Wilfred Mvula described the late Yanangolo as a pillar to the family as he dedicated his time, sharing his love with them. As I said, he loved his family. And upon his return home in 1989, as he so eloquently reflect in one of his poems, he visited his family broadly across the length and breadth of this country. Many could not hold their tears back as they watched the casket of the departed seasoned journalist and liberation struggle icon being led to his final home of resting. Yanangolo helped in transforming the country's national broadcaster, NBC, the Namibia Press Agency, NAMPA, and the press freedom of the country at large. The retired special advisor to the Minister of Information and Communications Technology died more than a week ago at his house in Vantuk at the age of 75. Put a flower on my grave, for I died like a brave, for your salary so high which you have earned with no sign. These are some of the words from a poem titled A Flower by the late Yanangolo. The departed, talented author, journalist and poet shall forever be remembered as his memories shall remain in his writings. Yanangolo is survived by his wife Sifo Yanangolo and four children. Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk. <laughs>